It's Dr. Morris here. Um, I thought I would do a uh, short video on the adrenal glands. Uh, I did one yesterday on the thyroid gland. We had a, uh, an individual ask me to comment on the adrenal glands. And then I'm going to um, do one on uh, mucus congestion uh, problems and pneumonias and things like this. And I'll try to cover a whole gamut of problems that, that, that one has here that's easy to cure, easy to fix up. And once you start getting a hold of the cause of these problems and how easy it is, you'll be amazed at how this financial picture and then the, uh, the medical association is way out in left field and part of the problem, not part of the solution. And so we need to change the way we do things here on this planet drastically if we want to have a more loving, spiritual, and a healthy way of life. And so uh, a lot of you are learning that, and I'm really happy to see that. And I really appreciate your viewing these videos. Uh, some of this information might be wild for you, and uh, other information might be, uh, you know, common sense for you. I try to make it as common sense as I can. I've, I've had my own school for years and I, I, I'm down to uh, one class a, a year now, but uh, we, might, we might increase that. But I've had a lot of years. I've had 40 years sitting here teaching and working with uh, several hundred thousand people in my life. So I've had a lot of clinical experience and I, I haven't had anything a person couldn't cure. And so that's important to understand, and it's important to understand the simple cause of things. Talk about the adrenal glands, because for the young people out there, this is a, a must to understand. Um, it, it isn't anymore, do you have adrenal gland weakness, it's just how much do you have. And this is a very serious issue. The adrenal glands sit on top of the kidneys, about the size of a walnut on top of the kidneys. Now remember, your endocrine glands, which the adrenal glands are part of, is the government of the human body. This government uh, controls everything that goes on. Friendly government uh, loves everybody, uh, but it, it is essential that the, that the cells of the government, and remember, all your body is is just a bunch of cells and two fluids. I mean, besides a few uh, janitorial uh, uh, microbes and, and a few microbes with jobs to do and some chemistry, the human body is predominantly just a bunch of cells and two fluids. You talk about the adrenal glands, bunch of cells and two fluids. Talk about the muscles, bunch of cells and two fluids. Thyroid, bunch of cells and two fluids. The brain, bunch of cells and two fluids. The two fluids of the body is the blood and the lymph. The blood feeds them, the lymph cleans them, just like you would a little baby. You feed them and clean them. The lymph is 75% uh, of the fluid and 25% is the blood. So the lymph fluids, which is the main immune system, is the dominant fluids of the body. And remember, in chemistry, you understand that chemistry only has two sides to it. So how simple. Body's a bunch of cells, two fluids, and there's only two sides of chemistry. And obviously, each fluid handles predominantly each side of chemistry. Blood can't handle the acid side or the corrosive side of chemistry without killing you. So the thicker mucousy lymph fluids do. So this is the suppressing agent. So review the thyroid one for those that want to learn about the adrenals as well. And also review the video on how the body works in terms of the lymph system. Uh, also, I, I mentioned in the thyroid video about uh, glandulars. And I just got through talking with a, a woman that's very overweight, uh, short, so she hasn't grown tall. Uh, she has a, all, most of her endocrine glands are shut down. And so we've got to go up to the pituitary. This is the main gland that controls all the other ones. It's like the CEO of the corporation. So you always got to look at the pituitary uh, as probably a, a factor in a lot of suppressions of the endocrine glands, especially without tonsils. But uh, the adrenal glands, you would always use an adrenal gland formula. You would use licorice. Someone commented about licorice. Absolutely. Licorice is great for low blood pressures. When your adrenal glands are weak, you're going to have low blood pressure on the top. 
Now, when, you're, when, when you have years of this, actually, since the adrenal glands controls the kidneys and the kidneys control the gigantic sewer system, you're going to start having kidney problems and then you're going to start having sewer system problems and then all the pressures of the body start going up. But anybody that has high blood pressure really has low blood pressure. And so these are some of the things you've got to fix. The kidneys control, like I said, the gigantic sewer system, and the adrenals control the kidneys, both neurological and through steroids, mineral balances like sodium and potassium. So working on the adrenal glands depends how low your blood pressure is. The younger people and the younger you are, you're going to see much lower blood pressures, sometimes 70 over, 80 over, 90 over. These are very low uh, chronic adrenals, very low blood pressures. And so you can also have steroid problems with low blood pressure can come low blood sugar because of the cortisol levels being low. And it doesn't matter what the blood work shows. Go by your symptoms and understand your glands. In my book, I have a whole chapter on the endocrine glands and how the body works. And I, I, I made that chapter for those that want to look at it more simplistically. Sometimes if you, if you look at things more simplistically and from the whole, you then understand it a lot more than if you went years at school just studying one thing at a time. A lot of professors don't teach from the whole perspective. That's why I always like the word holistic. You look from God down, not from, from the, the limited to the unlimited, and you'll have a much grander experience in life. So the adrenals, very important to get those online. Always getting any cells healthy is going after the whole body, going after the lymph system, going after the kidneys. The adrenals, I only use herbs and I do use glandulars because of the chronicness that we face. Outside of that, uh, study the herbs, uh, parsley, uh, dandelion greens, excellent. You can juice those and do a lot of that. Beets will clean the liver and the kidneys and help the adrenals. Anything that helps the kidneys perform better will help the whole body be better. But the adrenal glands, again, the parsley, cilantro, dandelion greens, uh, all uh, specific. Licorice is great if you have real low blood pressure or bring the blood pressure up. I wouldn't take licorice if I had high blood pressure. It increases blood pressure. But fix the kidneys and you'll have no more high blood pressure and everything will come down nice and you'll be in good shape. So for now, thank you. This, uh, this one on the adrenal glands uh, we will get deeper. I'm going to run videos on question and answers. So as I get enough questions here, I'll run a video and try to answer your questions the best I can here for you. But uh, have fun. Have fun on the journey of health. It's always uh, 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 uplifting to your awareness and to the way you feel. A healthy body means you don't feel your body. You shouldn't know that you're carrying a body around with you while you're on this uh, beautiful rock spinning through space. All right, real pleasure. Have fun today. Bye-bye.